Glenn Sturdivant got the most votes in Senate District 12's Republican primary, topping Senator Amanda Chase by a couple hundred votes. We're seeking legal counsel at this particular point. That's where we are in the process and raising money to um, to defend the case. Chase is claiming impropriety in the certification process of the early voting machines in Chesterfield. Her campaign says the local GOP chapter designated a member of Sturdivant's campaign to view the certification process of the voting machines. Certification is a required practice to make sure the machines are working properly before voting begins. I'm not opposed to early voting in person. What I'm opposed to is what happened in this situation where the early voting machines were not properly certified. Chesterfield's registrar disputes that claim. In a statement, Missy Vera says they properly followed state law by notifying the local GOP chair when they were testing the early voting machines and a representative was present. A review of the state code shows registrars are required to contact the local party chair, not the candidates, prior to certification. I think a lot of people don't realize that before every election, each vote counter to be used is tested. Larry Hakey is the former registrar in Chesterfield and says no matter who observed the machine certification, the process is exactly the same. If an observer came, they would just stand there and watch the test go forward. So with an observer, without an observer, regardless of who the observer is, this is a standard procedure. The procedure would be followed and the machine would be tested, certified, sealed, ready to go. Years ago, I was asked to serve on a committee in Washington for the Election Assistance Commission to determine best practices for pre-election testing of voting machines. So Chesterfield was one of the bases for the best practices nationwide to test an optical scan voting machine. So I, I, I have high confidence in the process and the procedures and the people doing it. Sturdivant declined to comment. Even if you remove the early in-person votes in Chesterfield from the primary, he would still prevail. Clear conflict of interest. It, 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 it reeks of the appearance of collusion. Chase would not reveal her legal counsel, but says her involvement in the race is far from over. If I have to run a write-in campaign on November, I'll do it. Um, we're, we're not going to let this go. These people will be held accountable. Again, we don't know what or if Chase will take next steps. 